Tell us a little bit on the design and build and how they use the strength of the aluminum product to save weight. Uh, the aluminum is just a, a great material to use, especially in the RV industry. Um, it's just a very lightweight with a lot of strength uh, when we do it properly. And uh, the way Keystone does it, by welding everything together, um, using the, 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 wrap, the tube aluminum, um, all the way through the build process, uh, exterior walls and the floor system, and you can see how we've got it here under the pass-through storage. Uh, just a great lightweight way to do things um, with tons of strength if done properly, and Keystone's definitely hit the mark on this guy. I see here, I'm not seeing, you know, a lot of companies out there screw the aluminum together. This is actually all welded aluminum. All, everything is going to be welded together, so that way it can take going down the road and backing onto the campsite without pulling the screws out of aluminum. Aluminum's a really soft material, so by screwing it together, we're not really gaining a whole lot of strength. We don't get that strength until we weld it together and actually make a substructure, that's where we're getting our strength and that's what Keystone does on the Passport. Yep. Another cool item to size the passage door on this. I mean, that's, you can put full lawn chairs right you in there. You can put lawn chairs in my camper. I've got those Rubbermaid bins to kind of separate my materials depending on where I want to use them. Um, all can fit right in this front storage compartment. Yep. Fishing poles as well. There you go. I don't know if you can catch it from there, but guys, we're right here. Um, and then we're just kind of being nitpicky about this. They make different types of jacks. I mean, they make a scissor jack, which this is a scissor jack, which is the most expensive brand, you can, which is the most expensive style you can come with. It's also the best quality style. They make some that actually just lower down like a pop-up, and you tend to find those on a lot of ultralights. But here we get the scissor jack that's going to help keep this trailer more stable. You know, this is the same jack that they're using on the Outbacks, the same jack they're using on the Cougars. It's a great jack. Um, it'll handle um, a nice weight. It's very easy to use, very dependable. We're not going to see a lot of problems with this guy, so I really like seeing it on the Passport. What's great about the Passport brand, too, is we can take a look. The Express Superlight. Keystone not only has the hard-sided trailers, but they also have... The expandables, which is very popular. Some people call them hybrids. They save weight by giving us that extra room uh, for sleeping, storage. And you can see here, there's a little 16 footer, but by the time we put the beds out on both ends, you know, we're looking at 30 feet long. So just another great example of what you can get when we put the extensions out, extra sleeping at a lightweight. This trailer here is towable by some minivans, some big, or some of the minivans, some smaller pickup trucks, four-cylinder trucks. Uh, this opens up a wide, wide range of availability, so you can pick different floor plans, better towing, better sleeping, and yet you're still off the ground and you can tow with your smaller vehicles. Higher foam between to just give us an incredibly strong exterior wall, um, great integrity on the passport at, at an ultra lightweight. One thing I find really cool, and this, you know, a lot of products we see out there, we talk about that slimming it down again. This has the automatic awning on it. Simple as just pushing a button, the awning comes out, you've got a storm coming in, you can put this thing in and out in no time. Uh, easy to use. Randy, I, this is the second generation awning on this one? It absolutely is. Um, we can pitch it on uh, either end by adjusting a small knob and that way we can get our water to shut off either side we want so we're not going to get that puddling on the awnings. You got it. Radius doors here. We come back a little bit. Tell us about the new design of the axles on the on the passport that we've been seeing. Uh, the spread axle is a great system, uh, and again, we we talked about it on the Bullet Premiere video that you and I did together. Um, they've spread the axles apart on this, which gives us a better stance on the road, um, less weight on the tongue, so less weight on the back of our tow vehicle. Um, just it stabilizes the weight, makes it go down the road better with a lot less weight on our tow vehicle. So um, just a great way to do it. Um, again, going back to the integrity on the lightweight product. I know some of the safety, we've, we, we talk all the time with RV manufacturers and safety is a concern at Pizza RV Center as well, whether the tow vehicle or the trailer we're selling. Um, they say that actually sway starts from RVs pur porpoising, they call it, this up and down first as opposed to side to side. This gives us a bigger center of gravity, so less porpoising, less swaying. Um, Absolutely, as we reach those highway speeds behind some of our smaller vehicles, we definitely want this wider stance um, for more stability going down the road. It's going to make it a more pleasurable tow. If for someone that doesn't tow all the time and is not used to what trailer is going to do behind you, this guy's going to feel a lot more comfortable for that driver. I've actually towed one of these and it makes a, a major difference. It sure it's a night and, day, night and day difference on it. A uh, little bit, tell us about the aluminum rims on this. Um, the aluminum rims is an upgraded feature on the Passport and that's typically the way Pete's RV orders our units. And again, at our discounted pricing, um, we've got these great extras on there um, at lower prices than you're going to see at the other dealers with the steel wheels. Yeah. We also usually upgrade the air conditioners on these guys and bring it up to the, the, the larger air conditioner if we can on the on the, that particular unit, um, that's something you're going to see at Pete's RV. I, and I think a lot of people are confused because they don't realize, you know what, you can slim thousands of dollars off a trailer if we strip everything out of it. So this having the aluminum rims with the bigger AC, a lot of times they say, hey, you know what, 
Um, your trailer is equipped better than the one I'm looking at, and it's $4,000 less, you know, so. Absolutely. It, it separates us from the other guys out there. Tinted safety glass and all the windows on the Passport, so. Recessed speakers, radius doors, um, the larger door handles. Uh, you, you're not missing anything on the Passport. It's got everything that you're going to see on a lot of the other product lines out there um, that weigh a lot more than the Passport. Well, Randy, thank you very much for your time today, and I appreciate you spending a few extra minutes here on this Passport van. I know you've been selling them like liquid lightning. So uh, I, I love the Passport. Um, I see a lot of young families making a step from the tent or the pop-ups. This is usually the next place for them to go. Um, and that, that gets me excited, seeing young families getting involved in the RVing uh, lifestyle. So Passport's a great unit for that. All right, thank you, buddy. You got it. Thanks again, Chad. Well, guys, thanks for watching Pete's RV TV today. When we're looking at the Passport, whether the Ultralight, the Grand Touring Series or the Express, Pete's RV Center is your place for best pricing on Passport products. We currently have a Keystone Factor rebate on all the Passport brands, all three lines. So if you're looking for great pricing on a great, easy towing, ultralight product, Pete's RV Center is the place for that. Thank you very much and thanks for watching Pete's RV TV today.